cooperation. Moving on to topical issues, and number one is in the name of Deputy Kieran O'Donnell. Thanks very much, uh, um, Caller. Rather, um, this motion is about uh, an issue that's becoming more prevalent, unfortunately, and it came about in the context of. Um, Joint Policing uh, Committee briefings from uh, Garda Chief Superintendent Gerald Roach in the Limerick City Division. And what he made reference to is that the issue of what people would traditionally know as drink driving, we now have an increasing phenomenon of drug driving. And his request is that they require more uh, testing equipment machines. Uh, currently, they have only five machines, four mobile and one static. They have made an application for further six machines. And the st stats are very stark in this regard. When you compare um, the, the level of uh, from January to December of this year, there was virtually 50-50 drink driving and, and drug driving tests. 128 drink driving. Uh, it's up 12% on the last year. And for drug driving, uh, 121, a total of 249, 121, it's gone up 128% on year, as against 12% for drink driving. Uh, in the COVID period, we've seen this massive surge. So drug driving has gone up 128%. And it's even in more alarming terms when you look at the months of June and September of this year. In June, you had 22 drink driving, you had 19 drug driving, higher, 22 versus 19. And when you look in the month of September, which is a short time ago, dr uh, drug driving was three times as high as drink driving. And drug driving was 22, and eight drink driving from the month of September. And what people need to be aware, for a first offence for drug driving, you lose your license for a period of disqualified for four years, and you lose your job as well. And furthermore, um, the, if, it, if you have drugs in your system, be they cannabis or cocaine, they can be in your system for up to three to four weeks. So people might think that they're, they're not going to be caught for, for, for drug driving after a period of time. But in many cases, if they're caught with, with drug driving, it could be in their system for up to three to four weeks after they've taken the drug. Uh, cannabis and cocaine would be two of those. And the implications are enormous. The consequences are enormous. People are automatically disqualified for four years for a first offence. And in many cases, they will lose their jobs, if not nearly all cases. So, uh, Minister McEntee, what I want to ask is, the resources then be made available to Angara Shiakana in Limerick to increase the number of machines for testing for drunk driving from the current five to 11. They're looking for an extra six machines. This is a growing phenomena. There is a need for education on this area, but what Gardaí and Limerick are looking for at the moment is extra resources. And they are telling me that if they had these extra six machines for, for drug driving, I, nothing we're taking away from drink driving, which is equally as, as, um, as bad, but drug driving is on a serious increase, if you were to judge from the Limerick stats. Uh, so we're looking for funding for the extra six drug driving machines on top of the, the current five, so Gardaí can do their job and ensure people are not uh, driving under the you influence definitely. of drugs. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Minister. Minister. And thank you to Deputy O'Donnell for raising uh, what is a very serious and a very important issue. While in Garda Siakana has been testing Irish drivers for drugs with the assistance of the Medical Bureau of Road Safety or the MBRS since 1999, I'm sure the Deputy will be aware that the driving, drug driving provisions in the Road Traffic Act of 2016 were only commenced by the Minister of Transport on the 12th of April 2017. 
uh, and the Deputy has outlined some of the measures and, and indeed the consequences if people are caught. One of the key measures in the legislation provides for preliminary drug testing, which enables Gardaí to test motorists at the roadside whom they suspect of driving under the influence of drugs. And a Gardaí Síochána can establish roadside checkpoints known as mandatory intoxicant checkpoints, or MITs, to test drivers for the presence of both alcohol and indeed drugs. The operation of mandatory intoxicant testing checkpoints and the enforcement of road traffic legislation are operational matters for the Garda Commissioner, and I know the Deputy will appreciate as Minister I have no role in these matters. However, I am assured that Garda management keeps the distribution of all resources under continual review in the context of crime trends and policing priorities to ensure their optimum use, and I am assured that this is also the case in Limerick. And Garda Síochána enforcement figures indicate that 1,216 drug driving arrests were made in the first six months of 2020, which is a, an astonishing figure if you compare it to 591 in the first half of 2018. This represents a 106% increase in drug driving arrests, despite a 70% reduction of traffic during the period of the COVID-19 restrictions. As the Deputy will be aware, the Government is committed to ensuring that Angarda Síochána has the maximum level of resources available to perform its policing or policing duties, and that Angarda Síochána has been allocated an unprecedented budget of £1.952 billion for 2021. And obviously, it is anticipated that with that additional funding that I'll outline some of the breakdown now, that each county, including Limerick, would benefit from that. This level of funding is enabling sustained, ongoing recruitment of Garda members and staff, first and foremost, extremely important to ensure that these duties can be carried out. As a result, there are now approximately 14,600 Garda members and over 3,000 Garda staff nationwide and Budget 2021 will allow for the recruitment of up to 620 new Garda and an extra 500 Garda staff. This recruitment is supporting the redeployment of Garda from administrative operating policy duties where their training and their expertise can be better used to best effect. An additional 22 million has been provided for Garda ICT to bring total allocation to over 70 million for the second year in a row. There will also be continued investment in the Garda fleet of 8 million. This is in addition to the highest ever investment of approximately 15 million in the Garda transport fleet in 2020, a proportion of which relates, of course, to the Garda COVID response. And again, I would anticipate that all of this additional funding will be spread dependent on where the Commissioner and his team uh, know and, and, and uh, understand the resources are required. Budget 2021 provides Angarda Síochána with a significant resource allocation to support its vital enforcement role on our roads. Drug driving not only puts drivers at risk, but it also puts passengers and other users at risk. Preliminary drug testing strengthens the ability for Gardaí to tackle drug driving, and I'm absolutely committed to supporting this important statutory enforcement provision in my role as Minister for Justice. Thank you. Mr. Deputy O'Donnell. Thanks very much, uh, Minister McEntee. Um, you can see in context that you said the national figures are showing 106 per cent of an increase in the first six months of this year. Uh, that very much uh, correlates with the fact that we have seen 128 per cent increase in the Limerick Garda district for the first nine months of this year. So it is extremely serious. Uh, and obviously, you have made further reference in the context that we have seen a reduction in traffic with COVID. Uh, you can only imagine what it would be like if, the, if we had normal driving patterns. So, Minister, wh what I really want, I suppose, to put the direct measure that this appears to be a growing feature on our roads at the moment. And you spoke about it not only putting the lives of the drivers taking drugs themselves, but the passengers and also other car users, and in many cases pedestrians who are walking on the streets on the roads alongside. And we've seen a lot of pedestrians knocked down in recent times. Um, so, Minister, what I'd ask is that this is a matter in your normal uh, engagement with uh, Garda Commissioner uh, Drew Harris, that you'd ask what is there, have the adequate resources to ensure that Garda on the ground, like um, Garda in the Limerick district with Garda Superintendent uh, Jerry Roach and his, and his fellow members of Angarda Síochána, that these extra six uh, drug testing equipment machines for roadside, for car use, for, for motorists, can be effectively uh, provided to the Limerick Garda district so we can ensure that there is enforcement put in place. And furthermore, could I also suggest, Minister, that there would be an education uh, dimension to this by Angarda Síochána in your department to make people aware of the consequences if they are caught 
uh, drug driving. Automatic disqualification of licence for four years. Will, they will lose their jobs with employers because they won't be able to drive Thank in you, cases. Deputy. So, Minister, if you might just deal with those two points. Fair Thank enough. you. I'll Thank you. Um, I suppose just to, to, to say to the deputy and to reiterate without stepping into an area that obviously I, I don't have responsibility for, I am assured by the commissioner um, and by his team that um, they continue to look at all areas, the districts, obviously the resources that are needed and required within those areas uh, and they do allocate re um, accordingly and I suppose my role is to ensure that the additional funding is allocated, that the resources that they need uh, is allocated and we have tried our very best in this year's budget to ensure that that is the case and, and I think the fact that we have uh, an unprecedented budget this year um, of sorry, 1.952 billion uh, will allow us to address some of these concerns. I, I share your concerns. These are, are absolutely frightening figures, particularly when the, the amount of traffic on the road has decreased so significantly. Um, but maybe just to, to outline the fact that the Gardaí are not just, um, I suppose, seeing an increase in this type of uh, crime. They're also able to, to identify other areas. Uh, as the Deputy will be aware, um, and Gardaí Síochána recommenced Operation Fánacht on the 22nd of October. Uh, and Gardaí have continued, obviously, in their role in that uh, particular operation. Uh, but they have also looked to prevent and detect crime on our roads and in the first seven days of Gartha operation 71 crimes were recorded um, in the course of the COVID-19 operations that were not related to breaches of regulations. These were mainly road traffic and drug related as well so the Gartha are very much focused on this. This is a priority for them even though uh, obviously they're focused on COVID-19 as well. The Deputy uh, might also like to know that the Road Safety Authority launched a public consultation to inform the development of the fifth government road safety strategy which will run from 2021 to 2030 uh, and this is something that I have no doubt they will be uh, addressing and will be um, taking on board and, and that's I suppose the deputy's comments about the education piece is something that I will pass on to. I think what's been a very effective tool in recent years um, and while they can be very difficult and very uh, upsetting to watch um, are, are the adverts that very clearly show the damages that can be done on our roads uh, and when it comes to drugs it's, it's no different here um, and of course obviously I look forward to working with the Gardaí as they implement the strategy and most importantly making sure they have the resources to do that. Thank you.